Time for today's Chef's Quick Tip and News 12's Tina Redmine is showing us how to make a delicacy from the South. I'm Tina Redwine with today's Quick Tip. Joining us is Chef Tim from Oak Hills Golf Course. He's going to teach us how to make something that I've really never tasted before, pork belly cracklings. And I've lived down south. So we just take pork belly that I had smoked and then braised for seven hours. So braising is just Ooh, cooking. sounds complicated. No, it's just cooking in liquid covered with plastic and aluminum foil. And where can we get pork belly? I get it from Darien Butcher Shop. So a little oil in here? A little oil. But this right. is low heat, right? Yep. OK. Then we're going to put the pork belly down, skin side down. You oh. can hear it sizzle and pop. But not too much. No, nope, not too much. We're going to put the other side down. And now this is a real low calorie yeah. treat. We're going to keep it down, put the pan down, because it's going to okay. pop at you. OK, I like that. So from there, we're going to cover it, just for our safety. Uh-huh, that's good. You All were right. a fireman, though, before, so you, of course you got it under control. So what happens now? When do we know this is ready? So that'll take about two or three minutes. You'll flip it over, and then I usually deglaze with a little bit of tiny spice spice and apple juice, and that'll make the sauce for the pork belly crackling. So you know it's ready when you take off the cover. All right, I can turn it off now. And you almost get hit. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see how the yeah. skin puffed up. So when you flip her over, it's a good thing we're close mm -hmm. to the fire department. When you flip it over. Oh, that's nice. The skin cracks. Very nice. So that's just a little bit of the apple juice and Chinese spice spice. That gives a good aroma. When you plate it, you just plate it on a simple plate. I like to use watermelon radish. Mmm. Maybe a little uh, chopped scallion on top. OK. Oh my gosh. Because there's so much fat in this, it tastes delicious. I can't take any home with me. This tip is online at news12.com with Chef Tim. Dina Redwine.